Despite being my second favorite game of all time, I don't think Bloodborne's actual boss quality is even top two in From Software's catalog. The biggest thing this game's bosses have going for them is design. Yes, they're usually beastly, but they still all look different. Cleric Beast, Vicar Amelia, Blood Starved Beast, Amygdala, and they are contrasted by humanoid or even more unorthodox looking creatures. I think the humanoid bosses are some of the most enjoyable to fight also. You usually take them more head on and they're fast without flailing around so the player can actually weave in and out of these attacks gracefully. Still, compared to the top two games on this list, I think this one just lacks consistency. Even though Murgo's Wet Nurse and Moon Presence have amazing visual design, and even some of the worst bosses have good lore like Mikolash and the One Reborn, mechanically some of these bosses are either too straightforward or not all that interesting. The worst bosses in the bunch have more redeeming qualities than anything we've seen in the other games on this ongoing Soulsborne ranking, and the DLC gives us three of the best bosses this studio has ever put out. But this game being number three on this list says more about the consistency, design, and mechanical mastery of the top two games than it does about Bloodborne's lack of boss quality.